Nobody this is uh, it too. As promised I would uh, make another yoke and this is the new one. This is the old one I used. This was not uh, had not windings across the whole circumference but this one uh, I made uh, the uh, primary or the secondary uh, coil the black the black wires all the way around the, the yoke it's 60 turns 60 turns and I have uh, the primary wind above it two times 21 turns making a total of uh, 42 turns also completing the whole circumference of this uh, yoke I have the split halfway now so here and here is the split and in between I have some uh, mica isolation and I hooked it up uh, again uh, to my uh, uh, oscillator uh, I have here my uh, thick wired shock 5 milli henry and I have presently a 5.6 nanofarad cap but as you can see I used several and also my stack of uh, small ones uh, presently I have a load of uh, three tubes 550 200 200 and 150 watts I have uh, 24 volts two batteries in parallel and I have uh, a 0 0.1 ohm resistor in the return lead of the input so I'm measuring the input with the uh, yellow and the red probe and because it's uh, getting uh, hot very rapidly I made a uh, show uh, a stop of my uh, patterns my uh, traces and we can see here the red trace is the voltage across the battery it's at uh, 20 volts per division channel 1 so we have uh, slightly more than uh, one uh, division and the yellow trace is the current across the 0 0.1 ohm resistor and that one is at 2 volts per division at the moment and you can see that uh, the peak to peak value of channel 2 is 7.4 meaning times 10 is uh, 74 amps running through but we have some spikes on top of this uh, on top of uh, them so I think uh, we have uh, 5 volt uh, peaks so we have something like 50 amps running input into this uh, 0 0.1 ohm resistor and the average will be something like 1.5 milli uh, volt which is 15.7 uh, amps so almost 16 amps average and the average voltage is uh, 21.5 so and if we use this as a input I calculated it to be something like 337 watts so that's the input into uh, my little uh, circuit I will now uh, turn on for a brief moment so you can see uh, a little bit how about this uh, um, the brightness of the uh, the bulbs there they are so they are fairly bright but I guess they are half the brightness they used to be so I, I estimate we have something like 200 watts uh, into the bulbs so uh, compared with the input of 337 that's uh, that's not uh, not near enough for something efficient so 
I tried several uh, combinations again of caps and uh, uh, shocks and the voltage 12 volts and so on but uh, also the load 60 watts but it uh, doesn't get any better so I guess this is uh, the best the maximum I can get uh, many amps input many uh, watts input and uh, some nice uh, bright, brightly shining uh, halogen lamps output, but nearly uh, the maximum of uh, what they can do. Okay, so that was, uh, I guess, my uh, my uh, final replication attempt for this uh, geofusion uh, stuff. No cold at electricity, whatever I tried. Okay, thank you for watching. Hello, this is Hitsu. Okay, building this new yoke. Uh, no paper, no electrical tape. So I was looking for something like uh, Verpis mentioned uh, mica. Glass is too thick, I guess. So I found something like uh, this. Is it's uh, some kind of uh, isolation plastic? Not sure if it's mica. But it came from the inside of a uh, uh, power supply of a uh, PC. It stuck at the inside. Perhaps for isolating uh, some parts. So there were two sheets on both sides. So I removed this sheet. And I will uh, cut with a pair of scissors. Uh, so that it will fit in between and then I will tape them together.